you now have options for virtual tabletops that integrate D&D Beyond. So with D&D Beyond's new feature that they're calling Maps, D&D Beyond and Wizards of the Coast are now getting their foot into the virtual tabletop space. So I want to showcase Maps versus something that has been out there for a while that I'm kind of surprised not as many people use. It's called Above VTT. It's also something that fully integrates into D&D Beyond as a third party source. Let's start with maps. First to find maps, you have to go to tools and they have this little alpha maps right here. And then you get to select your game. So I'm going to choose this one shot that I just made up inspired one shot. This is the first screen you get. You need to upload a map so you can choose from basic maps that they have. If you have source books or adventures, I made my own map. And so I'm gonna upload that here. Upload, upload maps, you got your map title, and then you can drag a map and upload it. Step two, you're able to then size your map if you do have a grid already. So next thing that I need to do is add my map with a little plus. It's now in my select map feature and I can just click on that. So the first tool that they have on the left hand side is their hand tool, which just allows you to drag around the map. Next up, Fog of War. So you can cover the entire screen for your players. You can reveal all or you can use this little eraser and erase parts of the map. Right now you can't make this eraser any bigger. I am dragging around and erasing for quite a while. <laughs> okay, finally we have the room <laughs> fully revealed for my players. Lastly, which yes, this is basically their last tool, you can add tokens. So let's add a few players in. You just hit the plus button, so boom, they pop up, and then you're able to drag them around or use your arrow keys to move them within a grid. You can also add your monsters directly from here. So let's add Kevin, big old bird from Up. If you didn't realize, this is a one shot I made inspired by the movie Up. Lastly, in the bottom right corner, you do have your game log right here. Something that is a glaring thing that's missing, you can't roll in this. So for me to roll, I need to actually open up a character sheet in a different tab. But as you see, when I roll for initiative for the barbarian, it will show up in the bottom corner. For the DM, the only way for you to roll is to actually go into your encounters, open up an encounter, and then roll from here. And then, so that 16 will show up then in your game log. And that is basically all you can do here with maps at the moment. So why don't we jump to Above VTT? Above VTT is a third party plugin that you need to install on Google Chrome. And I'll walk you through it right now. All you need to do is just search Above VTT, click this Google Chrome web store, add to Chrome. All I had to do was add it because it's already downloaded, but for you, you would just need to download Above VTT and make sure that you give it access to integrate into D&D Beyond. After that, let me just go into D&D Beyond, jump into my campaigns, select your campaign that you would like, and then you get a bit of a different screen here. You see this Above VTT, click join as DM, it will launch the above VTT. So one of the first things I'm sure you'll want to do is get in a new map. Similarly to maps, you can import scenes directly from D&D Beyond. What I do is I will import a map through a custom URL. It's a little bit confusing and a few extra steps that you need to do. You'll get to this screen where you can title it and then you get this map link. All you need to do is take the image of your map and upload it into Google Drive. And I'll show you how I do that here. So I just grab the file, pulled it in. Now that Google Drive is now hosting your image, click on more actions, share, copy link, go into above VTT, paste that link and boom, it is saved now. The next thing that you'd like to do is probably draw a grid. I use this super mega wizard grid configuration tool. So now you are on this screen. 
So you're gonna want to do a three by three square of your grid. And now we have our grid. So let's play around a little bit in above ETT. Let's just start top left and work our way over. First off, you have your ruler, measure five feet per grid, or you can get more exact measurements if you would like as well. Fog of War, similar to maps, you can hide everything, you can reveal everything as well, and then you can reveal areas through the square and you have all these different options to how to reveal your maps so here you can draw walls change light and vision i don't personally use this but you're able to manually determine your player's field of view and the light slash vision that they might have on that point you are able to import a uvtt file to have the walls and light feature as well so next you're able to draw squares lines let's change the color boom 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 you can also write text you can move and edit as well area of effect a 20 foot square of acid appears you can just import seamlessly you then have this help if you want the hotkeys this button can't will ping the player so if you need to do some editing of the map that you don't want your players to see you can pause and play for your players. The next button is for token vision, which I don't use very often. You can fit the screen, zoom out, zoom in, all those nice features as well. To import a character, go to this second tab and click this plus button and boom, they pop in. You can also drag in monsters as well. Filter directly here, upload your own tokens. Above VTT has their own tokens. You can drag in D&D Beyond tokens, which isn't tied to stat blocks. So all of those aren't tied to stat blocks. These monsters are tied to stat blocks, which will be important as we get into the combat and rolling section. My favorite feature is the encounters. If you are a DM and you make your encounters in D&D Beyond, encounter builder your encounters will show up here in above vtt click the plus button and then boom all the monsters that are in that encounter show up on your map let's add the barbarian and the ranger you can also just drag and drop and boom now we have an encounter here moving along the top section we have our scenes above vtt allows you to determine what map you are viewing as a dm or what the players get to view so i could have my players which is this icon here on this map as i move to the tavern to set up the next encounter next is the audio feature it's fairly easy to add a track similar to uploading maps you do the same thing with audio so i uploaded my battle music into my google drive and then boom i can play my battle music directly from the player lastly you have notes and then settings the best thing which i haven't shown yet is when you get into combat and why is this the best because everything that you need as a player and as a dm is already here in above vtt and let me show you so firstly as a player you can open up your player sheet directly in above vtt this is awesome just like you're familiar with with your dnd beyond player sheet you have it right here and so if i move from the player sheet the token section to the game log i can roll for initiative you're able to roll have your player sheet have your map all at the same time in one tab so that's how the players can play as a dm you need to manage a lot of things as well and that is where the combat tracker comes in. So let's just say all of a sudden you're now in initiative. You just have all of your characters roll for initiative. We are all in initiative. It's really easy to add your monsters to initiative. All you need to do is right click and then click this add to combat tracker. Boom, it will automatically roll for initiative. You're able to easily identify which monster is which through this fine token feature. You can delete character or monster from combat. You can also open sheets of your characters 
right from the combat tracker as well. And you can open the sheets for your monsters directly from the combat tracker. This is awesome because just like your players are able to roll, you are able to roll for your monsters too. So moving from the combat tracker to what you can do with your right click feature. So right clicking on a monster, you're able to open up the stat block. You can also completely hide the token from your players. Let's so move to top, bottom, change the AC, changing their HP, max HP, elevation. It will show in a little icon here at the bottom left. What me and my D&D crew, we really appreciate is these conditions and markers. In addition, you can add custom conditions. So let's just say heaven is going to be restrained and has a custom condition uh, sanctuary, let's just say. And now in the top left, a uh, reminder that they're restrained and that custom sanctuary on them as well. Another feature in this conditions and markers that I really appreciate is the concentration reminder. So I just selected the wizard and I'm gonna put the concentration reminder on the wizard. So the wizard is concentrating on a spell and let's just say they take eight points of damage and I click damage, we see here in the game log a check for concentration reminder. To remind you to roll your concentration check and the wizard did fail. Lastly here, you can just change a few things like the token size, color, you can enable auras as well, notes, token options, etc. You can also roll here in the uh, dice tab in the bottom left and roll your dice that way. And lastly, something that I haven't used is the video feature. So that is the compare and contrast between D&D Beyond's maps and Above VTT. It might be fairly easy to tell that Above VTT has so many more bells and whistles than maps. Is maps going to stay like this forever? No. D&D Beyond just released it. I'm sure there's going to be more and more iterations that get more features. But if you are thinking about how do I use D&D Beyond and integrate that into a virtual tabletop simulator, you need to use Above VTT. It is free to use. It is easy to manipulate. It is easy to upload different files and to have everything on one screen. The user interface of D&D Beyond is the best in the business. And so I strongly, strongly suggest that you use Above VTT. I really hope that there is quick iteration to bring all of these features that you see in above VTT to maps. And maybe one day maps will surpass above VTT as far as the integration and ease of use. But as far as I'm concerned, above VTT gives me everything that I need. And to be honest, maps gives me nothing that I want or need in a virtual tabletop simulator. I hope that was helpful and let me know what you think and what you've tried, what you think about maps, because I know I have a very strong opinion on it, but I would love to hear what you guys think. With that, I'm signing off. Take care. Peace.